Photoshop might be cooked. Google just dropped their new image generation model and I've tested it out extensively. There are quite a lot of things that NanoBanana does well, like the near perfect character consistency, which I believe it's its biggest strength. It can also replace any object with anything that you want. And NanoBanana has some deep understanding of lighting and angles, which I love. Lastly, it has the most fungiest name ever. And in this video, I'll be comparing Nano Banana against all the other top image models to determine if Nano Banana is actually ahead of its time. I have generated so many images using Nano Banana and I have found a couple of tips to get the best results. So I'll also be sharing that in this video. You can find the links to all of the tools I used in the description below, including all of my prompts, everything I used, if you sign up for my free newsletter. Now for the test, I'll be generating the same image across all the models to see which one actually comes out on top. I'll be using Nano Banana, ChatGPT, Dream by ByteDance and lastly we'll be using Flux Context Max. So the first image we will generate will test out the character consistency of the model. I'll use two reference images. The first image will be myself and then there's this James Bond villain for the second image. And here's the prompt I used. It's basically putting me in a movie scene against the bad guy. I'll be sitting at a poker table and we will have this stare down, which is intense, but I'll be smiling a little. I'll paste the prompt into Nano Banana and then I'll upload my reference images. Then I'll click submit. So the generation time is actually surprisingly quick. I tried a few times and I got this result I really like. Check it out. It actually looks like I'm in a real James Bond movie scene. Nano Banana is free to use, but unfortunately it doesn't have unlimited generations and you have this small watermark in the bottom of all your images so that's why I will be using OpenArt for most of my generations since it generates with no watermarks. Next up we are going to use the same prompt in ChatGPT. I generated quite a few images here but none of them nailed the character consistency. The best one out of the bunch is this one but again ChatGPT has always struggled with character consistency so this is not really a surprise. The lighting is really cool but we're not staring at each other and the scar on the villain is not even there. For the next model we'll be using the brand new C-Dream 4.0. Let's see how this tool compares to Nano Banana. To access C-Dream 4.0 we'll be using OpenArt because they have all all the image models under one platform, even Nano Banana and ChatGPT. In OpenArt, click on images and under model, select C Dream 4.0. This is the result and as you can see, the prompt adherence is really good. They did everything I prompted them to. The only issue is the facial consistency, but maybe it's just because there are two subjects here and all image models struggle with multiple faces. Finally, we move on to Flux Context Max and I'm really curious to see how this one performs. Just like before, I'll change models here and then paste my prompt and upload my images. Here is the result and although the lighting and image composition is pretty good, character consistency is basically non-existent. The winner for this comparison is definitely Nano Banana. I'd put C Dream in second place, then Chat GPT, and lastly Flux Context. The next test we have is to replace an object. So I have an image of me with a cat here. It's not my real cat, but I think it works for this test. The prompt will be to replace the cat on my lap with this dragon here that I generated using Midjourney. And honestly, I think this would be a solid test. So Nano Banana generated this image in just one try. And I'm really impressed with the result. The character consistency here is almost perfect. The eyes are identical. They even have the horns on the head exactly the same. This is exactly what I envisioned and honestly, this is really impressive. Next up is ChatGPT and this is the result of the prompt. Just like with the previous test, character consistency is a huge issue with ChatGPT. Even if we ignore the fact that I now look obviously AI generated, even the dragon doesn't look right. The color is off, the horns are incorrect and even the eyes have changed. Now let's try the same prompt using C Dream 4.0 and after generating a few times this is the result. Okay, so this time they nailed the character consistency. I'm noticing that if there is more than one subject in the image, your result might vary. But for this test, the prompt adherence and the character consistency is pretty good. The thing that stands out to me the most is the color. It's much more vibrant than the original, but they got the horns and the wings right. The scales look a bit too low resolution and noisy, which is also an issue with Nano Banana, but I do prefer that generation much better. So here's the result using Flux Context. And honestly, this is pretty good. The dragon might be slightly larger than the reference, but the color is on point and the scale details are actually better than Nano Bananas. For me, Nano Banana is the clear winner here, but for second place, it's between Flux Context and Sea Dream. If you compare both of them side by side, I'm honestly not sure which one I'd pick. Flux Context got the color spot on, but the character consistency isn't great. The dragon is off and it doesn't even have wings. See, Dream has the character consistency right, 
but the color of the dragon isn't accurate. If it was you judging, which one would you pick to take second place? Let's move on to the next test, which is image editing. For this test, I'll be using OpenArt again since they launched a new feature called Chat to Edit, which allows you to easily edit images with any of the models. So to get started, I will click on an image and then click Chat to Edit. Let's use ChatGPT High as the image model. And the first image we will be editing is this pop singer image I generated. We'll be switching the angle of the singer and these are my two prompts I'll be using. The first prompt is showing this exact moment from the right side, so this side with the hand on her hips and let's find out if ChatGPT can get this right. So I'll paste my prompt and hit generate. This is the result and just as expected the character consistency is a mess. They got the prompt adherence down with the right side but the color of the microphone is completely different than the original and the hair and even the lighting has completely changed. But let's see if the second prompt can fix this so I'll paste my second prompt here which is saying to show the exact moment from behind her but keeping everything else the same so this is the result and it's a little better. But the the color is a little off and the microphone is also not color accurate. But her hair and her dress looks pretty consistent with the original. The next image model we'll be using is Nano Banana. You can switch the image model here and select Nano Banana. Let's paste the first prompt and here's the result. The color is much more consistent compared to ChatGPT. The microphone is identical and the singer looks identical compared to the original image. What I found cool is that even the placement of the necklace is exactly the same as the reference. They even got the prompt adherence accurate with showing the right side. I'm actually really impressed with the result. Here's the other prompt and yeah, everything looks perfect here. The next model is C Edit, which is not the same as C Dream. Both models are still made by the same company, which is ByteDance, but this is their editing model and the 4.0 version of it is not released yet. So keep that in mind. Now let's see the first result. Yeah, the first major problem is the prompt adherence. They are showing the left side of the singer, not the right side. Color of the microphone is off and the facial consistency just doesn't seem right. The second result is a bit better with the prompt adherence but the hairs off and yeah not that great lastly we have flux context and here's the first result honestly this looks amazing like it's on par with nano banana nothing looks off and it's basically as good as nano bananas for the second result flux context followed the prompt exactly and here are all the results from each model i'm tied between nano banana and flux context and honestly i don't really see a quality difference between the two so let's put it as a tie let's move on to the second image we're editing which is an image of modern Japan with these three people walking holding umbrellas. The prompt for this test is to convert this photograph into an older 1920 style. I haven't seen anyone prompt this before so this would be a really interesting test. ChatGPT gave me this result and the only difference it made was decolorizing the image and also slightly changing the clothing of the two women. But as usual there are facial consistency issues. Next up is Nano Banana and this is the result I got. You can immediately tell this looks much better than the previous result. The coloring has a bit of a brownish hue which I'm not sure it's authentic but it looks good. They also changed the clothing of the people which I found cool and the facial consistency is spot on even when they added a hat on this woman on the left. My only problem is that it didn't change the cars in the back. They definitely didn't drive cars like that back in the days so it's not perfect but there's something I haven't told you yet. To get a result like this I probably generated this prompt over two dozen times. Most people think you can get a perfect result with just a single prompt and that's just not the case. You have to treat the entire process like a conversation of giving feedback making changes and iterating to get a result you want so keep that in mind but for these tests i made sure to give all the image models a fair shot so next up is c edit after i paste my prompt i got this result and it's actually surprisingly good this one has a similar brownish decolorization on the image and they also changed the umbrella to the olden style which i found cool but unlike nano banana the people's clothing didn't change and the cars in the background also remained unchanged but overall it's pretty good. Lastly, we have this flux context generation right here. And just like ChatGPT, it decolorizes the image to black and white. The one thing I found cool is that it changed the cars in the back a little, but not much. Here are all the results from all the models. And if I could pick between one of them, Nano Banana is the clear winner. For the next image, we'll create a product campaign. So here's the base image we will be editing, and it's a blue colored prime can. I'll also add a reference image, which is this perfume ad, which I thought looked interesting. The prompt will be creating a professional product photo of the prime can emerging from a block of ice. And to add some more interesting elements, I also included the ice shards. So first to the test is ChatGPT, and I'm curious to see what it can generate. Here's the result from ChatGPT, 
and honestly if there is no human subject the result is pretty good. I really like the eye shard but I'm not a big fan of the background. The last thing I have to mention too is the word consistency. It messed up here but otherwise everything looks great. Next up is Nano Banana and the result really impressed me. I love how the eye shards make the whole composition half depth and the color of the can just looks identical to the original. The only issue I have is character consistency. Just like the ChatGPT result it messed up at the end but otherwise you can pass this off as an image of a real marketing campaign. Next up is C-Edit and yeah it just looks weird. Nothing really great here. Lastly we have Flux Context Max and this one has the best word consistency. The wording here is slightly off but it's much better than the rest and I really like the details on the can with the water droplets but the ice doesn't look realistic. Here are all the results and if it were up to me Nano Banana definitely takes the number one spot. If you want to try all of this yourself then I'd recommend signing up to OpenArt. It is the all-in-one platform where you can do multiple different things from generating images, editing them, creating videos, all using the top AI models. Also if you sign up to my free newsletter then you will get access to all of my prompts and images I used in this video so you can try all of this yourself. So I just tested out some of the top image models including the newly released Nano Banana but these are just image models. If you're unsure which AI video model is the best then click the video on screen right now because I compare all the top video generators to figure out which one is the best.